hi guys back again like it never left if you're just joining us why are you crying it's killing my name is muji delano aka moj aka jesus baby aka muji of lagos and i'm your host here on insta blog ninja life tonight i'm going to be talking to the youngest forex trader in the country uh it looks like it's going to be a very interesting conversation so if you want to be part of that you want to stay tuned for the next uh, couple of minutes while i bring him on the live and then of course you can learn one or two things in the process so i'm gonna be bringing him on now thank you thank you thank you jules baby okay I hope you're ready for us. Happy Forex Academy. Waiting for Abby. For... <laughs> now, now you buy me the hair for me, Abby. Hello, good evening. Good evening, Jesus, baby. Uh, How are you doing? Very well. Thanks. I didn't hear what you just said. Good evening, good evening. Okay. okay. I'm very so, good. So, introduce yourself. Uh, I'm very interested in this topic. You say that uh, you are the youngest FX trader. And uh, <laughs> yeah, FX is big now. So I'm definitely interested in you know, what you have to tell us, what you've come you know, to inform us about. And I'm also looking to learn from you tonight. So introduce yourself to our audience. Uh, first of all, yeah, thanks a lot for this opportunity to be able to like speak with the majority about this. and. Uh, Trust me, it's going to be a very interesting topic, and I'm sure a lot of people will be uh, interested to hear this. So, to introduce myself, I'm Abby. People call me Abby, but my real name is Damilari Ogundari. Yeah. Uh, I'm still a student, University of Lagos, studying philosophy. Yeah. And uh, goes by the way, youngest forest trader in, in Nigeria. Yeah. Uh, actually, you see a series of YouTube videos about that, like youngest forest trader, youngest forest trader. And uh, on YouTube. Now, actually, I'm more of recognized outside Nigeria, yeah. And when it comes to Nigeria, really? yeah. And when it comes to Nigeria, it's so disappointing not to to feel that a lot of people don't even know what first trading is, right? So, Amabi, nice to meet everyone. Yeah. Okay. All right. Great. Uh, so, tell us. I mean, we know that you're an FX trader. And, um, you know, that's what you do. But what? tell us more about your business, how you started your career. Like, is FX something that you've always wanted to do, or did you just stumble into it? Okay, actually, I started forest trading uh, four years back. And it wasn't what I wanted to do, right? Uh, yeah. All my, all my career was, was to be a lawyer, to study law in school. But unfortunately, you know how the system with Nigeria is, yeah? I'm based in Nigeria and I know how it is. Yeah, you have to like also out, you know. So yeah. I discovered press trading four years ago and uh, I found it interesting that okay, this can be a career where I can get into. And I started I started gradually with the process. It hasn't been an easy process actually, yeah. But it's time the dedication given to it. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Um. So before we proceed, I mean, I still have one or two other questions. Uh, you said right. that you're the youngest forex trader. How do we know this? You want to tell us how old you are? Uh. So basically, from what we've been saying, yeah, you guys can tell. Like in Nigeria, there's not much about forex trading. Oh yeah, a lot of people don't really discover yeah. what forex trading is all about, right? With a really find people who test for it so when i started yeah i was actually looking out for yep. mentors who can actually teach me but fortunately i mentored myself i have to go all the way in myself but right now you hardly find anybody and you know and this is judged by who is making it in the industry that's it mm. I, so I can't basically tell you're not telling us your age people, there might be people younger than me right but yeah. I, I, no way. I don't know. You know. Okay. Okay. We'll leave it at that. So, um, how did you feel when? How did it feel when you got to the point where you like? 
you've come along where you said you've been doing this for a couple of years right um yeah with the, what has the journey so far been like and how do you feel you know at this point of your career well uh, it's something that i know it's worth it and i deserve it right because if i can remember back then yeah. something that i've dedicated i've dedicated a lot of time into it uh you know, because uh, I always wanted to achieve something. And I was just about this kind of person that I just wanted freedom, you know. And everybody, most of all these foreign students are always preaching about like for financial freedom, financial freedom. Then I just yeah. have to go get it, you know. And I have to chase after the, my goal, my dream. And definitely I can tell, like, okay, it's something that's paying up. So I used to tell people out there, like, it's something that worth, it's worth doing if you dedicate your yeah. time to it. It's Consume your time. Mm -hmm. okay. There's a lot of comes throughout the way, you know. I figure okay. it about you. Okay. Um, I'm curious though. You say that you trade FX. You're into forex. Give us a, you know, a rundown of. Of course, you can tell us everything on this slide. But what does it entail to trade forex? To be an FX trader or expert like you are? Okay. It's not. It's not. It's not a big deal to trade forex. Yeah. All you just need is. Uh, one, you need the knowledge, because firstly, yeah, it's something that if any name man comes on the chart, if any name yeah. man comes on the chart, you wouldn't understand what's going on, right? You wouldn't understand what's going on in the market. So you need knowledge, yeah. you need somebody that can you need somebody that can put you through in the market, right? So all yeah. you need to become a trader something, all you need to become a trader is Probably there's a lot of YouTube videos out there. You can research uh, yeah. how to trade. You're going to learn from the basic. And so far, you're 18 plus. You're legit to trade, right? Even though you're not, you're yeah. not 18, you can start learning. By the time you're 18, you can actually start the process of trading and while you're learning. So, so far, you're 18, I believe it's something you can do. Anyone can do it. It's not like, uh, it's, not a bond, it's not a bond talent. Right, I don't even believe it's talent. Yeah, it's, it's hard work. It's like just skills. It's like a skill uh, which anybody can acquire. Now imagine something. Uh, imagine acquire a tailor. Grow on. Yeah, yeah, acquire. Imagine a tailor that acquires a skill. It's also the same thing as forex trading. Now the difference is just that in forex trading, okay. the difference in forex trading, you need to acquire the knowledge just like the way you acquire to become a medical doctor, right? It's going to take you time to become a professional forest trader, and it's going to take you time to become a medical doctor. Now, the difference in between this both career is that forest trading, you're chasing your own, you're trying to be your own boss man, you're trying to be your own, uh, anything you want to be, yeah? Medical doctor, you're, you're yes. going to be, I don't, I don't want to like go in that part, you know? But it's something that we're doing. Okay, all right. Uh, so, uh, what has the what has been some of the biggest challenges that you've faced since you started this business, right? And how do you keep yourself motivated? Uh, I've actually faced a lot of challenge, and I can I can tell like a lot of traders, anybody that's like good, yeah, that comes a long way. You must have definitely right because this is the thing. When I was learning, is a process. And you invest your money you have to put your money to trade yeah i lost a lot of money in the market because yeah. i was trying to myself and uh it was, i resorted in losing the money but i never give up and my motivation and inspiration for me then was i just come on ig live i told you like no nigerians you hardly see any nigerians trading right i come on ig live i see this how long, guys. Ago, was, how long ago was this this was like uh three years ago four years ago yeah Three to four years ago. Okay. Okay. When I started, I okay. you live. I started driving, driving sort of car, exotic, giving those motivational things. So I got more interested. That was like one of my major motivation, right? Because I feel like if these guys can do it, I also want to live this kind of lifestyle. Because okay. forex trading is like, it's yeah. a different kind of apart from normal people, right? That's that that's what forex yeah. trading will put in you. Right, that was my mm. biggest motivation. Seeing people that I look forward to and they're doing great, I also want to do great. 
and that keeps me going. Mm. Okay, impressive. Um, so, uh, I, I hear that there were some comments made on the post that you made recently today by majority of people. Um, do you want to address um, those comments? Yeah, sure. Uh, actually, when I was reading all the comments, I was just laughing, you know. All my guys are like, I've been seeing all these people like, uh, commenting on your post. So, it was so funny yeah. and I was surprised, yeah. First of all, I was going to address the issue of like, Everybody that's been hearing Forex, Forex, Forex in Nigeria, everybody think is a sort of investment or whereby you have to put your money, collect 20%. No, that's not the real Forex trading. All these kind of people are just people that come, they just want to take your money, Ponzi scheme, right? The real Forex trading is something you do yourself. Nobody's, nobody's doing it for you. You do it yourself, you end the results yourself, yeah. right? I'll see a lot of people yeah. like say, oh, this is a Yahoo boy. This is a Yahoo boy. No, I don't even know shit about Yahoo, you know? So, this is really, really, really disappointing. But I never blame them because of what has happened in the past uh, to Nigerians. I know like, a, lot, a lot of investment companies named Forex. They've actually disturbed yes. this kind of people. Some people. But I would love these people, yeah. I would love these people to check the South African community. This is like a closest uh african country to us check this south african community yeah. and look how forest traders are over there forest traders in south africa are just like after you finish your high school the next thing they chase is getting the forest course building for forest education and you see that yeah. most of the south africa most of them are doing what they are youth most of them are almost in forest right and that's kind of the thing we're trying to push in nigeria we want to make this awareness we want to create this awareness people don't you can also do it yourself right if you change the education if the right path get the knowledge you can do this yourself right this is not an investment platform whereby you put money or collect money from anybody and again i would never ask for money from anybody not this if you see anybody trying to pretend it's me not me please right i will never come to anyone asking for money I'm not into investment. This is not a scam. This is just a pure education, creating awareness. We want to see Nigeria. Uh, we want to see Nigeria in that kind of South African state, whereby a lot of forest yeah. traders, up, right? A lot of people doing great things for themselves, right? We all know, like in our country, there's not much job, right? And look at me. If I can achieve this at this very young age, I believe everybody can yeah. that start also do that, right? It's not yeah. about, it's not about like, everybody knows Nigeria is like maybe the highest fraud state. No, you, we can make it this Not necessarily, way. it's just you know, what people say about Nigeria. Not necessarily, exactly. yes, fraud rates is high. They are big, there are fraud stars all over the world. It's not synonymous to the country. Of course, yeah. So we can, we can do this in a legit way. And people just need to understand that forest trading is real. And it's, it's legit. Not I can see even on Renault or Renault Mokiri. If you see some of his uh, his posts, yeah, he used to tell people like skills you can learn online. Forest trading used to be there, and I used to appreciate him for that. Right? He's trying to bring this uh, skills whereby we are in digital age. You don't need to be a tailor or be go learn all these skills. Work from home. You can yeah. make anything you want from home. You can make. Make use of your smartphone, right? It's just in a digital age. And I urge everyone, go do your research before you comment, right? Go do your research. I'm sure if you type I built Forex on, on, on Google, it's going to bring all my history. Yeah. When you see when I start, you see all my, all my back, then you know that, okay, this guy is, this guy is legit. Before you just come, That's you it. comment. You don't, know, you don't know what has been happening in the past. You don't know. You just come. This is a scam. It's so disappointing, right? It is. It is. I think that it's more of a reflection of, um, you know, those people because I get it that uh, a lot of people have been scammed, right? But anybody yeah. who is intelligent, you do due diligence, right? You go, yeah. uh, you, you investigate, you Google the person, you, you see what people are saying about the person before forming an opinion. Not because the person is young and living a particular lifestyle doesn't necessarily mean the person is a fraud. 
right? Young people are getting it all over the world. So I do think, like, I agree with you that it's a bit disappointing that people are so quick to judge without doing due diligence of investigating and, you know, just trying to see if the person is legit or not. So um, well done on everything that you've been, you've been saying so far. Okay, so what advice would you have for somebody who wants to go into Forex like you? I mean, you've done this for a couple of years and you seem to know what you're doing. Uh, so for young people like you who also want to do this, because you said it's a skill that it's, um, you can learn online, right? Um, how did you start? What advice um, would you give for people who want, who are watching this live right now and also what you do, what, they want to do what you do? So uh, first thing I always tell people, because I have got students uh, of, over the countries, all over the countries, yeah? And first thing I always tell you, don't look at my lifestyle now to judge yourself, right? I know, I know what you see because everybody believes this, yeah? Now, let's say I'm broke, yeah? And I tell you that this thing is working. You wouldn't believe me, right? You need something to believe, yeah. to believe that this is really working, right? Now, I will tell yeah. you this. Just because you see me doing this today, don't forget that I've been in this game for a long time, right? And one thing I will tell you is... Yeah. Don't chase after the money when you get started. Your number one priority should be getting yep. the knowledge, learning it first. When you learn, then you mm -hmm. remove the L, you earn. Is that is for sure? I can I can bet with you. First student is a skills are yep. worth doing. Dedication is gonna consume your time. Dedication to it, sleepless nights, is gonna definitely pay you. I can I can bet with that. Mm. Okay. So um, a couple of people in the comments have asked, like, what is the minimum that they can start with um, if they want to also be FX traders? And how do they go about it? I mean, you have a, apparently from your handle, you have a Forex training academy or something like that. So what is the first yeah. step to do if they want to, you know, let FX and how much so do they need to start? So basically, anybody, something that anybody can start. So we have this thing called demo and live account, right? Anybody can, if yeah. you think like you want something, you want to do in this forest training, you can actually start by yeah. demo. Demo just allow you to practice, see why it is. When you understand it, then you can go live. Yeah. Live, and you actually now put your real money in it, right? So start with demo. There are some lot of websites. There's a lot of uh, free resources out there. If you go on my YouTube channel, I've posted a lot of free educational this and all the web you can learn. Yeah, go on all these webs, uh, all these platforms. Start from there. Read a lot of material, material about forest trading. You can learn and start, learn and start gradually from there. Right? It's gonna put yeah. you through the process. So it doesn't okay. necessarily start with learn it first. Okay. Um there you have it but before we go um what would you like to be remembered the most for uh actually one of my goals is as i said earlier is to see that nigeria in that kind of south african state right if you go to south africa you'll be so inspired yeah you'll be so motivated like i i got i got an 18 years old boy driving bands like He's legit, he's doing, he's trading all the way from home, making the distance from home without doing nine to five, without doing stress. I just want to see a lot of people in that Nigerian state whereby uh, I, can, I can raise a lot of traders like me, whereby I can go out there and people be like, no, that's my mentor, right? And which is happening already. And I love that. I love to see like if I go out there, people recognize me. They are, oh, this is Abby. It's something that is very, very impressive. impressive. And it gingers me to want to do more. And I will always give back to the community. Okay. Amazing. Yeah. Um, Abby, it's been great talking to you this evening. Uh, but before we round off and call it a night, uh, is there any other thing you'd like to say? Um, any parting words um, for people watching, especially people who want to do what you do or who would like to go into Forex or any general life advice or anything of that sort that you'd like to mention before you go? So one thing I would love to tell the general, uh, everybody watching this, right? Now just look for you in this, in this 
uh, in this kind of mindset, yeah, because I'm I can tell my mindset is different from everybody, yeah. Now look for me in this set of mindset. Is either you go for nine to five work, or you chase your financial freedom, right? Now you can put your own effort in yourself instead of putting the effort on somebody else, right? Think about it from that aspect. Yeah, then you can do something. You can start something. It doesn't even necessarily you do a first credit. Yeah, do something. I'm yeah. serious too. Go to school, right? Yeah, and I'm also where I am today. I'm I'm a student. So nothing stop you from doing anything. You can be anything you want to be if you put your mind into it. You can achieve it. Thank you so much for bringing me live here. I really appreciate You're welcome. it. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah. It was great having you, Abby, and I wish you all the best in all your endeavors in future. Yeah, thanks a lot. All right, bye-bye.